Next tonight, Governor Kathy Hochul appearing at a Williamsville High School this morning to lead an important conversation about the dangers of social media for our children. And we know that this is something top of mind for many of us parents. So the U.S. Surgeon General recently warning parents about how social media impacts teens' mental health. One study showing spending more than three hours a day on social media can double a teen's risk of depression and anxiety. 64% of teenagers say that they're often or sometimes exposed to hate-based content. So today, Hochul hosting a roundtable discussion to hear directly from high school students on what they're experiencing on their social media feeds. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley was there and tells us how this meeting could lead to new legislation tackling these issues. But it's also like who you choose to surround yourself with. A group of Williamsville East High Schoolers was selected to join this mental health roundtable discussion hosted by Governor Kathy Hochul Friday to discuss the impact social media is having on their mental health. There are barriers built around buffering social media companies so they don't have any liability. But parents know. There is a direct correlation between these addictive algorithms and the fact that they're being bombarded all night long. These children do not get any rest. Governor Hochul has been holding similar sessions around the state and is pushing for legislation to stop addictive social media feeds. We have no choice but to take action. We have seen the negative effects of social media on young people as early as 9 and 10 year olds who are radically different children than they would have been if they weren't pulled by this addictive force into the dark spaces of social media. We have to act now. Social media is like follow the leader. One person does it and then another person continues and then it continues, continuing. Anaya Ramadan, a Williamsville East senior, participated in the discussion. She says she has experienced some negative impacts and recently disabled her Instagram account. I asked her how that has affected her mental health. I start to judge myself a little bit. I start to feel a little bit insecure about the things that I don't have that other people may have or things that they might be able to do that I can't do. Now, the Williamsville school superintendent told me that his district is among 900 nationally that are fighting in a major lawsuit against the social media giants. And if the governor's legislation is approved before the state legislative session ends June 6, it would tell social media companies they no longer can send unsolicited algorithms to students. So this is inspiring accountability among these social media companies that we're holding them responsible and we're working with them to find the path. Obviously, they prefer nothing change. That's not acceptable. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Amherst.